Hey guys, good afternoon. I hope you are cool. You are welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Henrietta. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button below the screen. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell to get updates on my recent videos. Today guys, we are going to be discussing a very important topic which is how to detect that you are dating a married man. How do you detect if you are dating a married man? The first way to detect if the man you are dating is a married man is if he never introduces you to his friends or family members. Yes, because when a man is married, his family must be aware of the fact that he is married and there is no way he could introduce another woman to that same family. So when you are dating a man for a long time, for six months, one year, he doesn't talk about his family members. He doesn't even allow you to speak with them on phone. You understand? He doesn't want to introduce you to them. Just know that that man is a married man or he has a serious relationship. He has a woman he's going to get married to. And not just family members, even his friends. The friends he hangs out with. When a man cannot boldly introduce you to his friends, you understand? That means that maybe he has a wife that his friends they are aware of and he doesn't want them to know that you exist in his life. That's why he's hiding you. When a man is serious in a relationship, a man that wants to marry you, we want to introduce you to his family members. We want his friends to know you, especially his family members. For them to get acquainted with you after all you are going to get married to him but when a man is walking in the opposite direction just know that this man is a married man the second point is that this man might not even want you to come to his house though i've seen a married man he lives in lagos his wife and kids they are living in portaco so he can afford to bring his mistress to his house that is an exceptional case you understand most married men they don't want you to come to their houses. When you are constantly going out with this man, he never wants you to come to his house. He always tells you, let's come to this restaurant, let's go to this fast food, let's go to this hotel. You're always meeting in the hotel, in a restaurant, in a bar, or in a friend's place. Just know that that man has something to hide. Why won't you know the house of a man that you are dating? You should know his house. You should know where he comes from. Very important. So ladies, just watch out. Whenever you are dating a man and he doesn't want you to come to his house or he constantly changes the venue, he will tell you today, this is my house. Tomorrow, he will take you to another place. This is my uncle's house. Another day, he will tell you, this is my second house. Another day, he will tell you, this is my third house. Haba. Just know that that man is not even showing you his house. Among all the houses he has shown to you, no one is his house. At least, at least, no matter how rich you are, even if you are dangote, you should have a stable house. There should be a stable house. Even our president, he has a stable house where he lives with his family members. The third way to know if the man you are dating is married is when he never invites you to any occasion. He doesn't want you to be with him in public. Just know that that man has something to hide. Yes, whenever his friend has a celebration, he never wants you to go with him. All he wants is for you to meet him in a secret place, private, private, private. He's always hiding you. That man is a married man. He doesn't want people to see you with him. Maybe they might tell his wife or maybe they might break the news to you. Yes, you understand? When you constantly go out with him as a married man in public, somebody might just speak up. Ah, ah. Hey, oh guy, you get a wife, boy. Ah, ah. Calm down. You understand? Even if they are not this blunt. They might, like among themselves, try to gossip this and you might hear this while they are saying this. So he's just trying to avoid the avenue of you getting to know that he's married. And also, he doesn't want anybody to take back information to his wife that he's hanging out with another woman. The fourth way I know to detect if a man you are dating is married is when he's never available at certain times. Yes, when you are dating a man, there is a particular time you call him, he doesn't ever pick. Never. There is a particular time you can never meet him. When he has a schedule, run away from him. For example, if he tells you, please, every Monday and Tuesday, do not come to my house. I have a business meeting. 
my dear, fear that man. Yes, fear him. When you call him at a particular time, always, he never picks his course. That man is cheating on you. That man is a married man. Maybe he is with his wife. Yes, and these times will always be at night. Yeah, when you call your man at night, he is never available, never. At times, his phone will be ringing, oh, ringing, oh, ringing, oh. He will not pick. Later on, he will just call back and start rushing his conversations. And at this time, he might even lower his voice. Hello. At times, he might not hide his voice. Maybe he has gone so far from his wife. He can talk to you, but he will always be in a haste. Even if they are going to talk to you, they are going to be the one to call you. When you call them, they cut. Later on, they call you back. Why will it be like that? At a particular time? No. At a particular time, you cannot see them. You cannot just say, okay, let me just come to your place on Tuesday. Or for example, you are dating a man during the weekends. He doesn't always want to see you every weekend. Ha, just know that he has a wife. Maybe he's traveling to meet his wife and kids. That is why he's never available. I know at times you call a man, he doesn't pick his calls because he's busy. Not at a particular time. For example, whenever you call him from 7 p.m., from 8 p.m., he doesn't pick your calls. Every 8 p.m., he doesn't. That man is a cheat. That man is married. He just wants to use you and dump you. It is. The last point I have here is when your man always detests the place, time, and date of your meeting. That man is a married man. Why must your meetings always be on schedule? Tell me, why must it be programmed? It must not be that you must see every Monday or you must see every Wednesday. No. If you take that man by surprise, you will meet a woman in his house. That is the point. He mustn't be the one to dictate when you have to see him. You are a lady. He should give you that respect. Babe, where do you want us to meet? But when the man you are dating is always the one to like tell you we are going to meet at this place. He never asks of your opinion. He never even bothers to ask you if that time is okay by you or if that place is okay. He knows he is doing the wrong thing. That is why they have to make sure that it is at their own time. When they know that their wife will not catch them. You as a woman, do you want to tell me that you have not been noticing this? You have. You have. But you have been blindfolded by money, by desperation. You want to get married. You want money. Because of that, you don't want to put your eyes down to notice any of these signs. To spot that this man is a married man. So ladies, it's never too late. Now watch out. Some married men, they will not store your name with your name on their phones. That is also another sign to know if a man is married, if he has a girlfriend or is serious. I know some ladies are really guilty of this. Mm -hmm. They will store a man's name with a woman's name. Some men, they do this too. They will store a woman's name with a man's name. Ladies, on a second thought, it will even be hard for you to find out if he stored your number with your name on his phone because most married men, they are like this. They will never allow you to have access to their phones. So you will not even get to know if he started with your name or with a mask name or even with an animal's name or even with the name of a tree. And he can start you with pumpkin. He can start you with egg. He can start you with bookseller. You don't know what he stored your name with. And this will be difficult for you to detect because you don't have access to his phones. And that is another point. When a man is too secretive, when it comes to his phones, he's like, oh, 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 he's so uptight. When it comes to his phones, his laptop, he never allows you to have access to them. Hey, if he sees you on his phones, oh, he wants to kill you. Ladies, ladies, try this to the man you are dating. Tell him that, babe, please, I don't have credit on my phone. Can I use your phone to make a call? Let's see what he will do. The man will tell you, let me go and buy credit for you. When he tells you that, insist. Babe, I love you. I want to use your phone. Don't buy credit. Insist. Let's see what this man will do. Let's see. When he finally gives you the phone, just dial the number slowly. Delay by dialing the number. Take some time. Take some time. You will see that this man will jump up. Ah, ah, you don't understand my phone. Let me teach you how to dial it. And ladies, another thing is that some men, when they are with you, their phones are always on airplane mode. Or switched off so when you are with your man try to check his phone if that phone 
it's on airplane mode or if he has switched off that phone or if he just like reduced the ringing volume to zero when a man does things like this that man is not to be trusted he doesn't want his phone to ring you understand or when he wants to receive any call he just like excuse you baby excuse me uh why can't you make a call in my presence so when your man tries to like excuse himself to make a call he cannot make a call where you are some of these men when you are with them in a restaurant they will be like looking at everywhere <laughs> they are not comfortable their mind is not at rest because they have something to hide so ladies do not always allow your men to choose the time and date of your meeting at times insist on choosing to so guys thanks for watching please if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell to get updates on my recent videos also like and share from me to you goodbye and i will see you in my next video bye bye